10 times at the farm. Your daughters are foodies. And we just go like. Oil or cream? Burger and baked beans. Now with dog meat. Everybody, I'm Goat. I'm Gouda. And welcome to our Thanksgiving mukbang. Today we're having pumpkin pie ice cream and vanilla cake that has been designed festively. Let's get into it. Perhaps I should use my magic powers to unsheath the ice cream. One, two, three. Ah! Whoa! Ooh. Ooh. That looks scrumptious. Top it off. It's time to decorate this f Uh-oh. Just a few red sprinkles. Mmm. -hmm. Happy Thanksgiving indeed. It's like supernova. <laughs> Loaded. <laughs> this is quite the sugar rush to start the day. All right, cheers. Cheers. Can't be hateful. Gotta, Gotta be, be grateful. grateful. Mashed potatoes on my table. I'm gonna start off with some cake. I'm gonna try the ice cream. We are gonna be like Tasmanian devils today. The sugar rush has begun. Sugar! This is so spiced up, you guys. It is delicious. Hmm. Mm. So, I forgot to give them a bite. This them oh, a bite too. Well. Okay, but only because it's the season of giving. Mm. Open wide, lovely people. Yum! Oh. Mm. Mm. So for those who also live in the U.S., I was reading that there are travel restrictions for several states. Is anybody restricted from traveling during this time of year? That sucks. Most of our family lives in West Virginia, and we actually just visited for a big family reunion, so we probably aren't going to see any of them for the holidays. It was great, though. We got to see our cousins, who we hadn't seen in well over 10 years. It had been 10 years, right? Oh, yeah. A really long time, so mm -hmm. the young one was all grown up and then the one that's our age is dealing with the same issues we are. Let's just put it that way. Okay, this cake is just what I needed. I couldn't eat this every day for breakfast, but. Just Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays. On Thanksgiving, as long as you're grateful for what you're eating, you can eat whatever the hell you want. Yeah. Mm. Ooh. We did a Friendsgiving a couple of years back, and we invited a lot of people, but we didn't have enough table space. So we, we had our long table, but then we put TV trays at the end of it because we wanted everybody to sit together like a big mm -hmm. family dinner. And so we were like, well, let's just put the TV trays in. So it was one long table. I think there were like 20 of us. A lot of people showed up. But one, it was great. It was really cute. It was awesome. <laughs> and then everybody wanted to see the TV shows because they thought it was funny. Yeah. It did look so like very, I don't, it, it was clever though, the way we would put it together. Everybody did get to eat together. So. Mm-hmm. Mm. If you're enjoying the video so far, why not consider clicking that over there? Or you can click that over there. Ooh, I like that one. You get it? We 
actually went to a Friendsgiving this past weekend too, to our friend's haunted farm. We were up late that night, let me tell you. We got to experience something very creepy with some of our newer friends actually. We, uh, we did some hunting around the farm originally. We went to um, up to the church at the front of the property. We went to the guest house and it was creepy because it was the middle of the night, but no one saw anything, no one heard anything. Well, then we trekked up the mountain to their cabin and Ben was saying, there's been all kinds of activity there. Well, we were there for a good hour, kind of goofing around, but we would go in these segments where we were all quiet. And some people claim to be like, I thought I saw something, but I'm not really sure. I, I <laughs> two of the skeptic, two or two skeptics in our group. So I was like, I kind of believe whatever they say. They're really not trying to let their senses, you know, get the better of them. So we're nearing the hour. And one of the skeptics gets up and is kind of looking up on the um, balcony to the upstairs. And he goes, guys, and he's being kind of quiet. And he's freaking me out. He's acting possessed going, I, I swear I just, I heard shuffling up there. I heard whispering up there. And we're going, okay, okay. So Josh, one of the other kind of skeptical people goes, well, I might go up there. I said, okay, well you, you go up there then, it's fine. So we're all kind of like getting ready to get up and we hear this loud crash behind the couch that we're sitting at. And we all jump up, frozen, terrified. And I said, guys, don't run, don't run over each other. Yeah, there was this light bulb shattered against the wall all over the floor. And we looked everywhere that night and the next morning. Can't figure out where it came from. It's not missing from any, it wasn't from the ceiling, it wasn't from any lamps. Something threw the bulb after I'm pretty sure it had had enough of us being there. We, no one could explain it. it no was our warning. One. Just get out. Because right when the, the timing was just too coincidental yeah. when Josh goes, okay, I'm going up there. And then we just hear the smash. Mm. But three seconds before the smash, there's a light. So somehow this light bulb was lit up right before it hit the floor. It made no sense. There's no outlets over there. There's no way anything surged. There's like all no the lights, lamps, all the nothing. lights were off. Everything was shut. We were sitting in the dark, guys. It was really bizarre. It was unexplainable. That was the best. Even the skeptics were going, I don't know. Can't explain that one. But of course, we were, I think I took your spoon. <laughs> of course, we were up until um, like 5, 5.30 in the morning, not able to sleep. Everybody's still riled up. We're back at the main house and trying to sleep on the couch. And I am facing the, ca the, the couch going, don't, don't turn around. I know there's been activity in here too. I don't want to see anything else tonight. Just don't, don't look that way. Guys, it was scary. I had this jolt go up my legs to where I was like, I can't run. Like, I'm I'm too scared to run right now. It's just shivering. So there was a group of us sitting on the couches in the living room back at the main house. And our friend Jen started telling a story. Well, I was starting to get really tired at that point. And I was on the other couch starting to doze off. And I remember I was sort of listening to everybody talk. But then I must have reached the next phase of sleeping, because I didn't hear anything, but all of a sudden, I hear <laughs> I leapt up from the couch, I'm trying to grab our friend Josh to pull him away with me, because it sounded like Jen was being possessed. So I was trying to get away, I was grabbing him and trying to get away from her, and they're all staring at me, and Jen is just staring at me like this. And she goes, Gouda, are you, are you okay? Yeah. I'm kind of sitting there confused. And she goes, I was just telling a story. I was so embarrassed. She was telling a story of her grandma. That noise stuck out in the midst of my sleeping. I thought Jen was possessed. I was so on edge. I, I slept for maybe 30 minutes that night. It was so embarrassing because they, they were all looking at me like I was crazy. Fun times at the farm. Oh my goodness.
what's everyone's favorite kind of cake? Tough question. I know. You know, good old yellow cake gets the job done. Boston cake is also really good too. Boston cream cake is good, but if you've never heard of Boston cake, it's this really creamy, delicious base that's covered in fruit on top. Raspberries, strawberries, blueberries. It is so good. There's a photo. There's a photo. The Boston. Ooh. Oh. It's got this. <laughs> it's got this glazed stuff drizzled on top too. Super fresh. It was so funny when somebody gave one of those to us. We go, oh, do you want a little, you know, nibble with our fork? So we tried it, and then we just went. <laughs> <laughs> we just kept going. Not one piece of cake was cut. We ate off the cake, the whole thing. We are cake people. We love cake. Love cake. Mm. Favorite dessert. That's and dessert. cannoli. And cannolis. Um, I remember when we were having our growth spurt, we would go to the grocery store down the road. We'd, we'd walk there. We'd set up on this hill after we, we purchased an entire like birthday cake. <laughs> and we would go up on this hill and eat it. <laughs> like if the weather was nice, we'd eat it on the hill. If it wasn't great, we'd eat it in the car. Wow. Like savages. <laughs> And I'm never gonna forget that. And just, if we didn't have forks with us, we would just buy plastic ones at the grocery store. We did that all the time. So I bet the people at the register thought we were buying it for a party, and we, no, no, no. Mm -mm -mm. This is for us. Like, so good about to ravage this beast. Can you even imagine if a cashier would be like, oh, whose birthday is it? And we'd be like, oh, <laughs> it's um, ours, I guess. Oh, happy birthday. Yeah. Oh, can I see your ID? No. No. We're celebrating it like really early this year. And we're going to celebrate it again next week. We could have just said we're celebrating an unbirthday. An unbirthday. It's Alice's unbirthday. We celebrate it every day except your birthday. Mm-hmm. By eating as much cake as possible. Mm. Mm. Don't, don't. <laughs> Forever cake. <laughs> That's not a wedding mm. cake. I want to do something crazy for our wedding cake. Our mom was saying, don't spend a lot on a wedding cake. It's there and then it's gone. I'm like, you don't understand how big of a role cake plays in our lives, okay? That's why we want a nice cake. Your daughters are foodies. No, sorry. We're, we're going to be spending quite a bit on the cake and the food. I want good food there. Do you know how badly I want sushi? And I feel like that's <laughs> never, only that. in my dreams. Mm. Taco bars are the big thing. Yeah, but everybody's do everybody's doing everybody's it. Everybody's doing it. It's and I'm I'm melting. not really against it, but we would need to be doing like several other things too. Mm. I think we should have a cornucopia at the wedding. <laughs> a crab dip cornucopia. <laughs> a sushi cornucopia. Mm. Fish just falling out of it. Mm. Like fish row, a cornucopia. Ooh. Tobicopia. <laughs> Tobico Tobicopia. Tobicopia. <laughs> mm. Mm. This is why there hasn't been a wedding yet. <laughs> this is why we can't find men. Are they just hiding? <laughs> Wait. No. No. <laughs> Maybe it's at the bottom of the ice cream. Keep eating. <laughs> He's trying to run away. He has stopped that. You will be murdered. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh lord, that's good. This is fantastic. Oh, big daddy. We're also the type of people that will eat ice cream in the dead of winter ago. I was just craving it. Mm. Mm. So our family makes baked beans on Thanksgiving. That is such a cookout, barbecue, picnic-esque food. And we tell our friends and they, and they go, yeah, that's, that's a little strange that you guys have baked beans. Obviously when we were little, we never even thought it was weird. We didn't question it. But as we've gotten it. older and we've gone to other people's friends' givings and stuff, who makes baked beans? Since the beginning, our family has always, and that's why I consider the tradition now is they make baked beans. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Unbelievable. They taste no different than our picnic baked beans. It's the same thing. Now there's no special like spice or anything added. It's the exact same. And I rarely eat them either. I'm not a huge baked beans person either. I'm not big on the baked beans. No. I really don't like the appeal of little hot dogs cut up into your baked beans. I'm like, it wasn't like sketchy enough. <laughs> Add the wieners. It's such a Southern thing. Do you remember that commercial of the talking golden retriever? Of course Bush I remember. Bushes, Bushes baked beans. Bushes baked beans. I don't remember the dog's name though. I think the, the, the man was named Bush. <laughs> <laughs> and the dog was like Duke. Maybe it was Duke. Mm. It was Duke. It was? Mm. It was an Irish setter. Oh. Well, I thought it was like it was really red. Or it was a red gold retriever. And the dog's like always trying to like make a profit off the recipe or something. The man's like, what the f***, Duke? Don't give away my recipe. That's what gets you your dog food. You're going to go the way of old Yeller if you don't <laughs> cut the s***. <laughs> And it was a talking dog, too. Yep, that was just totally normal for the commercial, though. Bush's don't baked worry, boss. <laughs> Bush's baked beans. Now, with dog meat. Why is it Duke in the commercial, Daddy? He's been slaughtered. Oh, God. He's been minced. <laughs> He's been grinded. He went in the grinder. <laughs> Duke, no, what have I done? My temper got the better of me. It's just a f recipe. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> She's getting a little soupy. You can see all the little crust pieces now. Can't be hateful, gotta be grateful. Mashed potatoes on my table. Um. Mm. My sensitive teeth got a little cold on that bite. I can feel the sugar. I can feel it on my gums. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> you cheap ass. <laughs> you didn't go ready with. That was 10 this cents. This was 10 cents cheaper. It was 10 cents cheaper. <laughs> it's the same thing. Whip. Who's going to taste? I go. This don't taste like the Ready Whip I remember. The foodies will be like, I this doesn't taste like Ready Whip. Okay, Gordon Ramsay. Remember Ooh, my like commercial? Oil Do you want oil or cream? Oil or cream? Um, oil, please. <laughs> <laughs> Here's go. Yeah, I'm just, is the oil, oil cheaper? I get. Is it cheaper by 10 cents? Okay. I'll take that. <laughs> Mm. 
mashed potatoes. Happy Thanksgiving indeed. My stomach keeps making noises. I don't know if that's a good thing. Uh, yeah, after this, I, I think we're good on the sweets after this. But I gotta bake a pie. I gotta make broccoli casserole with my crock pot. Uh oh. People at my work were talking the other day, and he goes, I don't know what I would do without my crock pot. You can make almost anything in there. Yeah. Except the ice cream. <laughs> Except maybe ice cream. You can but make a cake in there. It's awesome. And then your whole house smells amazing through the whole day. So you go, yeah, this was worth it. Mm. We need to get more incense. Mm. No, no, it's hiding in that big metal tin. Oh, okay, good. From the gray cabinet. We need the best place to have. Yeah. What we need is more torch lighters. All I asked for for Christmas was torch lighters and AAA batteries. <laughs> adulting. The adulting Christmas. Yeah. I'm pretty sure we asked this earlier this year. But are there any Thanksgiving movies besides Garfield's Thanksgiving? Which we will be watching. We will definitely be watching that. There has to be a Thanksgiving movie, but we just... Probably like a rom-com and Thanksgiving is the subplot. Most it. people are watching football on Thanksgiving or parades. Yeah. Or they start watching Christmas movies. So I understand why we can't think of any. What else could you do with it besides like eating a lot? Giving thanks... Everybody Loving at family. the dinner table finds out that the mom is pregnant. <laughs> and a murderer. <laughs> and a superhero. <laughs> it's like ten movies in one. That'd be awesome. I'd watch that. And you know what we can call the movie? Just one word. Thanksgiving. <laughs> what if you just called it thanks? Thanks. <laughs> Wait, more people would see it. It's shorter. Thanks. Written, Period. Written by Goat and Gouda. I need to keep going before I hit the food wall. We gotta finish Mr. Cake and Mr. Soup. We left a slice for someone. Whoever wants it. Oh. The cornucopia. Cornucopia. Drip it. Drip it. What if there was a congested ASMR where they just go... Mm, mm, <laughs> There's a marker for that. A very small market for that. There was always Hit that one... Phone. Jesus Christ. There was always that one kid in class that would always go... <laughs> Kevin. <laughs> Kevin. That was his name. Kevin Long? Kevin. Kevin. <laughs> Yes, there was this kid, and he was in one of my classes, too. He was Asian. He was Asian. Was Kevin Long. Yeah, and he always had the sniffles. Always. <laughs> it didn't matter what season it was, what day it was, what, what time, time it was. What time of day it was. He was going... And it was the worst when we were taking tests, and I did sit right across from him one time when we did um, the desk... Jesus. The, the desks were arranged in fours or something so it would be little like pods of four people and like I was facing directly at Kevin and we were taking a test or quiz and we had to be quiet and every I swear it was probably 15 seconds he was going and here's me Kevin like, she, she like, slowly pulls nasal spray out of her back pocket and just goes that would just kidding funny. it's Mace get away from the table it's distracting. I need my B. <laughs> I'll never forget 
in one of my English classes. My teacher's name was Mr. Clarkson. I sat next to Alex. Cool story. My friends John and Michael were sitting behind us. And Michael leans forward and goes, hey guys, guess what? And he meant for it to be a silent fart so that we would all smell it. But instead, couldn't control his sphincter and it was a really loud toot. And it happened to be during class where it was really quiet. <laughs> So everyone heard. Oh my god. And people started giggling. His face turned the color of this mug. That is so embarrassing. I mean, at oh, some point. Oh, Michael, that's fascinating. It's just a fart, but when it's dead silent. Oh, and it was in purposeful. high school. It's high school. Yeah, too. it wasn't even an accident. He was like, oh, I know what's going to happen. Nope, you don't. <laughs> And the freaking like jocks that were in there, you were saying, were like, oh, who did that? <laughs> and, we, and we were all pointing at Michael. <laughs> we Giving up your friend. We didn't even wait. We were like, <laughs> be like, it was not me, it was him. Well, I was a lady, so obviously I had a <laughs> Yeah, obviously. <laughs> I caught one at the gym the other day, and all I got to say was, I'm glad no one was near me. And it sucks when you have your headphones in at the gym. And you're going on the machine. You really don't know if you cut one, like how loud it is. I'm assuming it was kind of you're quiet, just but praying. it might have been loud enough if someone was walking by to hear it go, whoa. whoa. Okay. If they weren't wearing their, their Drake beats, um, <laughs> they probably heard you. And cut. many are when That's they're right. headed to the paper towel station to wipe off their machine. They got them off, and I'm like, oh my God, so embarrassing. Mm. Here it comes. <laughs> Takes me back to those cake days on the hill. Never forget. Hmm. Cheers and happy Thanksgiving. Mm. Whoa. <laughs> no, but ah! you didn't need it like Bunny. <laughs> Bunny has Gong, Gong song would be a shame. <laughs> Here's Bongo. <laughs> Get those weaklings out of here. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready, I'm ready. I'm ready, I'm ready. We want to wish everybody a happy Thanksgiving with your friends, family, or even if you're celebrating it alone. And please, be safe when you're traveling. And be safe with those big bites. You don't want to choke around the fam. That's it. Embrace your energies. Bye.